Hey, what is going on YouTubers? Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today, finally coming back with a very cool device that I got directly from this company called Doogie. And this is the Model S80. It is definitely a rugged phone. This thing is built for those of you who like to go outdoors all the time, or you simply work at a construction site, or you just simply need a big battery so that you make sure that it lasts the whole entire day. Well, this is the phone to really look forward to. So this device right here comes with six gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. It has a price point, I believe a little bit above $300, but in my opinion, I think it's definitely worth it. So on the back side here, we can see the color is the mineral black. Again, we got the model there with the IMEI information and whatnot. So let's go ahead and open here the box. So that way we can check and see what's inside. So here we have the super rugged device guys and you can see right here this thing is at least i will have to guess 11 millimeters thick and we can actually appreciate that right here it has a metallic frame on the side and of course the volume rockers up and down with the power key as well on the bottom side here will we have the usb type c port covered by this flap so that water doesn't get inside it is ip68 certified if i'm not mistaken so here we can see on the inner side we have the usb type c right here on the left hand side of the phone we have the dedicated walkie talkie button as well as a shortcut button which is really cool here we have the sim tray it is a dual sim dual standby device on the top here we have the connection for the antenna for the walkie talkie so you guys can appreciate right here the antenna is included inside of the box i'll be showing you um, that feature in just a moment on the back side here we have two cameras one is a 12 megapixel the other one is a 5 megapixel I believe is for bokeh effects. I'm not 100% certain, but here we do have the LED flash. You get the fingerprint scanner with a secondary uh, microphone and towards the bottom, we get a very loud speaker. And actually looking at it, it is IP68 certified. It says it right there, which is really, really nice. I will have to say that this thing is really proof for anything. It is shock proof, waterproof, freeze proof, you name it guys. This thing is a super nice phone to have around, especially if you need a lot of battery lifetime. So here from this protector, what well, we can see that it is explaining some of the buttons and whatnot. Uh, we got here a 5.99 Full HD display. We have the 10,080 million battery, the cameras in the back, and the internal memory, which I already explained. So now let's go ahead and set the phone aside here for a brief moment so that way we can check and see what comes inside. As I mentioned before guys, inside here we get the manuals as well as the SIM tray opener and the manuals are very brief. It comes with a screen protector as well and a cleaning cloth so that way you can make sure that your screen is all um, free of any dust. Then here inside we have a clip. I believe this goes on the back side of the phone. And then we get here the antenna for the walkie talkies I explained before. The antenna seems to be a very good quality as well. And here it is. We're going to be installing this in just a second on the phone. It doesn't make it look very pretty to be honest with you guys. But again, it does work very well. So this is actually a clip on case. I believe this piece goes on the back side of the case. Then we get a fast charger. By the way, this device supports quick charge 3.0 which is really good because devices here in the USA, like the Samsungs and some other Android phones, like the LGs and such, they do support quick charge 3.0. So that means that I can use their chargers to get fast charging on this device. Keep in mind that it supports wireless charging. It has NFC and all the goodies that we love on smartphones. That's why I'm so excited about this particular model. So anyways, inside here, we have the adapter for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And it really doesn't make sense as to why they didn't build the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on this device. But anyways, we get here the OTG wire. So that way you can plug stuff into it, including um, another device. You can use this device as a power bank because of that massive 10,080 million battery. And finally, the USB cable. This is, the, again, the USB Type-C cable. And that's all we get inside of the box. All right, guys, and here I wanted to briefly before I start up the device to show you how the antenna goes connected on the top side. In this particular case, I don't have any uh, stations that I can connect to. But in case you guys do have a channel to connect to, then again, just connect the antenna on the very top. You simply bolt it in and that's all you have 
to do. So let's go ahead and remove here the front protector and we can tell guys that well this display does look very good in the sense that it looks of high quality doesn't look cheap uh, starting up the device here we're going to be looking at the boot animation in just a second by the way we do have an LED flash on the front side for selfies as well as a 16 megapixel sensor camera with wide angle which is really cool and then stuff like the proximity light sensor all those uh, great things that we like on a smartphone we do have it here on the Doogie S80. So now the phone has completed here all the boot up process and the first thing we can notice is that well we are connected here with AT&T. Second that I am getting 4G LTE connectivity which is a plus for this device. It is currently supporting all the bands here for the USA so it'll work with Metro PCS, Cricket Wireless, AT&T, uh, T-Mobile, all the companies that we have here that support SIM card they will work on the Doogie S80 which is a plus in my opinion guys. And again, like I said before, the highlights of this phone is the fact that it has a built-in walkie-talkie and the fact that it has a 10,080 million battery. I think those are the main highlights. And of course, uh, being built as a rugged device, this thing will sustain a lot of abuse, which is a plus as well. So anyways, getting this unlocked right here. This device is running currently on the MTK6763, also known as the Helio P23. The GPU is the G71. It has the Android 8.1 Oreo built-in and it came with all the Google applications. We have seen Chinese devices in the past and actually from bigger manufacturers like Huawei, Meizu, that sometimes do not support the Google applications, so you have to get them yourself and that could be a big problem. So getting here into the app drawer, you can see that I have downloaded a few applications of my own on here and they're all working just as intended. I am not getting any glitches with this phone, which again gives me the indication that it has been very well optimized to work with any application. So here the first one that I downloaded is the Anturu benchmark like I usually do so that way we can get an idea of what the score looks on this device and this one gave me 92,650 which is actually a little bit higher than what I get with this processor so again I guess it was very well optimized in this case. So one of the first things I want to try here with you so that way I guess you get convinced that this is a really nice working device is the fact that well yes it has the fingerprint scanner like I explained before but it's just how well it works that makes it I guess uh, separate from the competition especially at this price range um, again I'm just talking about the Chinese manufacturers like Elephone, Eulophone and uh, even Qbot goes in here so I just want to show you guys how well this is working but once everything is done I guess we can go ahead and lock it Let's test this out. And I believe that when the screen is asleep, it takes a little bit longer for it to wake. But if the screen is already awake, then it is a little bit faster. So as you guys can tell, so far the fingerprint is doing quite well. I would say out of every 10 readings, um, it does A correctly. And two is because you simply maybe misplaced here because you had the same texture in the back. Maybe you went a little bit towards the side and it's going to say that, well, you didn't center your finger properly and it's going to misread it. That's about it. So anyways, we have here other features like the shortcut button. You can customize it to whatever you want to. If you guys go here to custom key function, you can see that I have it on custom mode. And if I click on here, I can use it with any application. So right now, as an example, I have it here with uh, Chrome. If I hold and press this red key for a few seconds, it'll actually open Chrome. And here you guys can see it. I can change it again to anything that I want to. And I think this is definitely a cool feature about this device because we have asked for this on other major brands like Samsung. Uh, let's go ahead and try here another one. Let's do the camera. And I'm going to hold and press it. And now the camera is open. So as you guys can see, it is a very cool functional feature. Another feature that comes included with this device is the face unlock, which is another one that most of us use all the time. So you can enroll your face here, which I'm gonna do just about now. Let me go ahead and enter the pattern that I created before. Let's click on and start enroll. And you guys can tell that it did record my face. So right now I'm gonna to try to use it to unlock the screen once more and see if that works. And there you go. You guys can see that I had to lift my face a little bit from the camera because I have it right on this area right here. So it doesn't recognize my face immediately. But if I lift my face a little bit, 
from the camera, it works almost instantly. And this is another awesome feature about this device. So, so far guys, we have pretty much everything that every other phone carries nowadays, like the NFC, the wireless charging. And by the way, to prove you that it does have NFC, it's actually right here on the notification center. You can see it. And again, it has wireless charging, fast charging 3.0, it has um, waterproof capabilities. It has everything that almost every other phone carries out there except for the price. This one is a little bit above $300 and I think so far that is definitely worth it. Another uh, cool feature that I already mentioned before but I never showed you guys the application is the walkie talkie. This is what it looks like. And when I went up in Kissimmee to visit my brother, I was able to connect to a channel and we were able to establish a conversation. But here in West Palm Beach, unfortunately, I didn't have the time to really check and see if there's a channel that I can connect to and get it working. So unfortunately guys, I couldn't show it on video, but if I do find something, I can maybe make a separate video. So that way you can see that this thing does have, in fact, a true walkie talkie built in. So anyways guys, another subject I wanna mention here is the camera. The camera performed very well, especially on outdoors and um, as many Chinese devices out there, well this one doesn't perform great in low light conditions, but it does quite well on uh, daylight time. And you guys can actually see that here, it doesn't have any type of um, optical image stabilization, but it does quite well for basic usage. Like I said before, I guess the main highlight of this device is the fact that it has a super huge battery and it has the built-in walkie-talkie as well as a super loud speaker and that again, it is a rugged phone for those of you who are very rough with devices, but this is definitely not a camera phone in the sense that, well, Pixel phones are gonna beat it, Samsung phones are gonna beat it, pretty much any major brand out there is going to outperform the camera on this device which is sad to say because everything about it, I do love about this particular device, but the fact that the camera is not so great, well, it's keeping me a little bit away from it because I'm a big time camera guy. However, the front facing camera here, guys, as you can tell, it is not disappointing whatsoever. This is a wide angle lens and right now I'm using it live. It is not really disappointing. The camera is actually quite impressive, at least on the front side. So all in all, I have to rate this phone a seven out of a 10 when it comes to the camera for everything else. I love about it. It is a super heavy device, by the way. This thing maybe weighs about 300 grams or so just because of that huge battery and the fact that they build it very nice and rough. So again, you will have a device for quite a long time with this particular model right here. So anyways, guys, another thing I want to show you here before we end this video is the loudspeaker. So here I'm going to open my own channel. Let's go here into my channel. And let's check on my videos for copyright purposes. Let's play one of the latest one here, which is about the um, drone, the JJ Pro Epic. Let's go ahead and click OK here. And in case you guys can find there it, we go. the name of Epic. And if we look here on the side of the box, well, we can see that it has a point of interest, which is another feature. You can set this directly from the application. And also, like I said before, it has a GPS. And if we look on this side of the box, well, we get more of the features. It has, again, uh, the point of interest, like I mentioned before, follow me mode, GPS. It has 5G white. And now here, guys, when it came to the loudspeaker on the backside, well, it doesn't sound very... I would say of high quality, but it is definitely the loudest that I've heard in a very long time. It is definitely louder than my Pixel, than my Samsung, my uh, 10X Max, so on and so forth. But again, it is just a single speaker on the backside and it doesn't sound as clear. So for that reason, I don't think this is the best speaker that you're gonna find on a smartphone in 2018, but it does the job quite okay. With this being said guys, I think that now we have completed here the unboxing and the quick semi review of the Doogie S80. If you guys have any questions, just please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more. Let me know if you guys want me to give this away or just wait for another phone that may be coming out very shortly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.